request to do a video comparing um, Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Polish with Tonic Studios Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. Um, so I thought I would go ahead and try and show the differences between the two. Um, so I just quickly made this swatch um, trying to match the colours between the two different brands to try and show as true a comparison as possible. So we've got Graphite um, Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Polish with Black Ash Nouveau Mousse. You can see that I, th I would say that the mica particles in the gilding polish are maybe finer or maybe they have a more of a mix of colours because they seem to be I don't know very tiny little glistens and you can't really see it on camera it's really annoying but anyway um, and then so I compared purple paradise with royal aubergine quite similar colours ocean teal with pacific teal pearl luster with pure platinum and gold treasure with indian gold um, and I thought I'd do it I just put these on with um, a palette knife to show the texture you can get texture with both but the nouveau mousse is designed to give the texture whereas the gilding polish is more designed to be used on um, a flat surface really or to pick out the detail on um, embossed cardstock so but you can get the texture with both of them so I thought I'd do this one so you can see them dried and then I'm going to do a little quick example showing um, how to use them through a stencil both thinly and thickly if that makes sense so I'm going to chop this in half and I think I'm going to go with the ocean teal and pacific teal colours um, so when I'm applying it thinly through a stencil I like to use um, a piece of cut and dry foam to apply it the gilding polish comes with an applicator sponge on the top however when you're, well, that's really crusty, I should uh, wash that. Um, but you could use this sponge, but if you're going through an intricate stencil, sometimes the sponge um, would get stuck and it ends up ripping it like this, like my bit of cut and dry foam. So I wouldn't want to ruin this applicator because this is great for going over the top of embossed card just to pick up the raised detail. So that's my preference. I prefer just to use a piece of cut and dry foam. Um, and yeah, you can wash this between uses. Literally just soak it in water and all of this will come out. It might still be stained, but all the crusty stuff will come out. And then you just want to leave it um, for a day or two just to dry out completely. And then just put it back in the pot. So, well actually I might show you the... Got crusty bits on there now. Um, the differences in the texture of them as well. So the gilding polish, I'd say, is more jelly-like. I don't know if you can really tell when I poke it. It's kind of you've really got to cut through the surface. It's very squidgy and like jelly. And then the nouveau mousse. It's more crumbly, like you can see at the sides it's crumbly because there's cracks in it, but um, it's more like a smooth thing, it's not well, it's more crumbly than jelly-like, but they're both really easy to get out of the pot. So, um, well, while I've got my palette knife out, I might as well show you thickly through a stencil. So let's find a stencil. Should have got one prepared. I'll just go with this one. Um so we'll do the nouveau mousse first. So when you're using the nouveau mousse through a stencil to get a thick raised thing, 
um, I, I suggest smushing some up like this, maybe wiping it off the side and just making it more into a creamy texture. You seem to get a better result that way. And then just simply spread it through. I won't do too much of a swatch because I don't want to waste too much. So that's the Pacific Teal Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. And then for the gilding polish, it's not designed to be used thickly through a stencil, so this might bleed underneath, but we'll see what happens. And um, the gilding polish does seem to stain your stencils more, I'd say, as well. Okay. So take this off, and you do want to wash this fairly quickly. I just use a baby wipe. really quick and easy to clean off. Just go one side and then go through the other side and then dry it with some paper towel. There we go. So that's clean. Um, so here's the two differences. It didn't splodge, so it does work thickly. I just don't tend to use it thickly because, I don't know, I always tend to plump for the Nouveau Mousse if I want to do something thick through the stencil. But they're the two different looks. You can kind of see that, I don't know, the, the mic is kind of more prominent in the gilding polish. I don't think it... Uh, the difference is about the same really when it's dry or wet, but I can't really explain it. It's like it's got smaller mica particles or maybe more mica, I don't know. But anyway, there's the two examples of it using it thickly through a stencil. Um, and now I'll do a quick example of using it um, flat through. I'll just use the same stencil. So if we go with gilding polish first, now for the gilding polish I like to, I probably do it the same for both, but get a little bit on the sponge, just work it into the sponge a bit, and then you're literally just scraping it over, and you do want to go in uh, multiple directions, oh that's really <laughs> racking up the sponge, but you do want to go in multiple directions to get it right up against the edge of the design and that is probably why the sponge gets so messed up, but that's fine. Okay, that's good. Then go with the Nouveau Mousse. Yeah, so again, you just want to kind of work it into the sponge if you can. This, I think this had acrylic paint on it before, not <laughs> Nouveau Mousse, but... And so with the Nouveau Mousse, because it's a thicker product anyway, that is more designed to um, be used as like a 3D texture paste, um, it does kind of build up at the edge of the design. So let's just quickly wash this. So this is the gilding polish, very shiny again, and the Nouveau Mousse is kind of built up against the edge a bit. And this Pacific Teal actually, it's it's sort of got more of a greeny base and a bluey mica. It's a bit of a mix of the two colours. So I'm going to let that sit 
for a little bit and then I'll come back and polish it. Because if you just buff it with a piece of uh, dry kitchen roll, it buffs up the shine really nicely. But I just thought I could also show you um, how to use them uh, in a watercolory capacity as well. Because I do like to do that or I like to splat. So I'll show you the splats too. Because they're all my favourite techniques to use with this. So I'll put a little bit of gilding polish and a little bit of Nouveau Mousse. So both of them work um, for watercolouring which is good and they work great with the Nouveau um, water brush as well. So squeeze out a little bit of water and mix it up. I'll do the building polish on this side again. Lovely mica, mica packed. Okay, and then clean that out. Mix up the mousse. You see the green is coming through now from this colour. There is a really, I suppose it's teal, so it is a mix of a blue and green colour. I was going to use purple for the demonstration, but my camera doesn't pick up purple very well, which is really annoying, because it's my favourite colour. Anyway, so there we have them both used just as watercolour. I'll come back and show all of them at the end, I think, as well. Um, but my other favourite way of using them that you've probably seen me use quite a lot is paintbrush. Add a bit more water on them this time. Um, the mousse, I find it's better to uh, mix the mousse into the water with a palette knife because it's it's um, that drier consistency so it's much easier to mix it in with the palette knife I might as well do it with this one too you don't get the clumps in your paintbrush then which is good So, that's the Pacific tea on this side. I'm contaminating them a little bit, but <laughs> I don't think that matters too much. It's just showing the difference between the two of them. So I'm keeping them all the same way round, so the Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Polish is on the left, and the new Mousse is on the right. So that was splatting it, which is one of my favourite things. That's using it more 3D through the stencil. And this one was using it flat through the stencil and this one was using it as a watercolour. Now these have dried, we can just take a piece of dry kitchen roll and buff over them and it sort of polishes up the finish. And you can do the same with the watercoloured ones as well. Okay, so so this is the thickly through a stencil and you can actually see now as it's drying because the Nouveau on the right is made to be a 3D texture it's kind of got a sharper edge from the edge of the stencil whereas the gilding polish is more of a liquidy gelatinousy kind of substance so it's kind of actually beveled around a little bit so that's that if they dry yet. I've been filming for 15 minutes and I did this at the beginning and the Nouveau Mousse is practically dry but the gilding polish is still quite wet which makes sense because this is more of a, a, a moist substance to begin with. Okay so that was that one. Then this is flat through the stencil and look now I've polished it. This is what I mean is the difference. It just looks like there's more mica or finer particles of mica in the gilding polish because it gives more of a metallic shine. Some of the other Nouveau colours do give more of a shine but I still think gilding polish wins on that proper metallic-y shine front which is why um, when I'm adding just a little bit of stenciling to a card like um, 
in the background building video, um, which I think are called layered background. I like to use it through a stencil like that. Um, and I always plump for gilding polish. So if I'm going flat through a stencil, I tend to go for gilding polish. But if I want to go 3D through a stencil, I usually go for the Nouveau Mousse. And then uh, watercolouring either work nicely. You can see here there is more mica, but I, as I said before, um, some other colours do have more mica. And this one just kind of splits into more of a green base with the blue mica running through it. And it does depend how much of the product you've mixed up with your water as well to the quantity of the mica that's in there. And then finally the splashes, although the, the gilding polish isn't dry yet. But again, you can see it seems more shimmery. But I do, I do like using both. I like using both for splashes, both for watercolouring, but I do use both for both of these things. Although, but if I'm going to do 3D, I plump for the Nouveau Mousse, and if I'm going to do flat, I plump for the Gilded Polish. So, so I hope this video helped to let you know the differences between Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Polish and Tonic Studios Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. And again, there's the comparison of a few of their colours. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye.